uh, on the 15 line. It is, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm yeah. a great ripper. You are. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna make a pillow here. Yep. Ah, tell me what to do. Okay, you're gonna love this. It's really easy. Okay. The first thing you do is you measure the size of your pillow. Okay. And this one is a 15 by 15 pillow. Okay. So when you are covering a pillow, you don't you want to make it um, kind of snug fitting. Okay. So we're gonna cut pieces that are 15 by 15 to okay. um, make it nice and snug. Yeah. So we get our piece of fabric out. Oh, it's so pretty. I actually also, if you want to try, I love ripping fabric. I'm a fabric ripper. Okay. You want to try to rip? We can cut some with the um, cutter and then also do a little rippage. Yeah, let's do, uh, we'll do both. Okay. So let's get this lined up nice and he on here. Okay. We'll find the 15. Okay. And go like this. Okay. And then we're going to rip that. So you just pull it apart. Do some fabric all ripping all the way to the end is fine. All right. Wow. How do you know it's not going to go crazy? Well, nice quality fabric rips right on the grain, so it gives you a really straight edge. Wow, that's pretty cool. And so for pillow making, especially when you're not doing like real fine stuff like um, quilting, so you see we can kind of, you kind of use your fingers to press it out. Okay. It's called finger pressing because the heat of your fingers will actually do a little bit of pressing for you when you're sewing. Wow. You can see you pull it down and it is exactly... Uh, on the 15 line. It is. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. I'm yeah. a great ripper. You are. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to we're going to do the other one. We're going to Now you're going to get to cut line this up right here. Sorry okay. about the dog bark. I told you that would happen. Yeah, it's all good. Wait, let's get this a little bit more lined up. So, where did you get this fabric at? I ordered this from um, a little tiny uh, online shop called Bloomery Fabrics. Okay. And they're out of um, they're in Virginia somewhere. And I like them. They have really nice quality and um, they do some fun little sales. This was a remnant sale they had. Yeah. Okay, so now okay. you're going to stand where I am and you're going to um, hold yeah. this down. Okay. You're not a lefty, are you? No. Okay. So then, um, wait a minute, let me stand yeah. there. So are I you can... a lefty? No. Okay. Okay, go like this right. and Thank stand you, like yeah. that. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, I just moved it. It doesn't matter that okay. much. We're good? Yeah. Well, I'll hold it down too. Yay! All right. Okay. Then we'll do rip it off there. Okay, so this is going to be the front of the pillow. Okay. All right, it's going to go just like this. And you see how it's done? People sometimes get alarmed like, oh, it doesn't go all the way, but it's yeah. going to be really nice. We'll be able to fit her in there. So the back of it, what we're going to do is we're going to measure how long this is. Okay. And it is uh, 28. So we're going to just cut this in half. Okay. And then we're going to um, just do folds so that, hold on, I'll show you. Okay. All right. Do you want to rip or cut? Uh, I like the ripping. That okay. Fun. Let's do it. It is so fun. I love ripping too. So I'll do the first cut for you and then you can just rip that open right okay. there. Yeah, I think I did better job ripping than I did. Yeah, just you can you can hold it up and really rip. It's not going to kind of go around. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Perfect rippage. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay, so then we want to what we're going to do is go over to the iron, okay? This is something okay. else I don't do. Marty has to do all the ironing at home cuz really I, that we never ironed as well we, we grew up Right, I know. Yeah, I didn't iron either. Blue collar, and you know, we didn't. Yeah, iron like you didn't. Either. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I can. Some people's parents remember did do a lot of ironing. Like they'd show up for school and they'd be all like pressed, pressed, and yeah. I'd be like, No, not me. Okay, so we're just gonna press right here and right okay. here. So you just press that. And now, what I all I did was just kind of make a nice deep fold here. Okay. And we could sew this down, but I don't think we need to. Unless okay. you think you're going to be washing this. No, I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. So just press that down, okay. that corner down. All good? Yep. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Okay. That seems... Do you want me to move this? Yeah. Okay. And that same fold is okay? Yep. Okay. Um, you know what we should do is fold, have this be. Yeah. Wait a minute, though. 
Just working out the kinks here. Make sure it lines up. There we go. So that we don't see this. Part. Okay. And this fabric is by Basic Gray. She's a fabric designer. Okay. That's her company name. Now when they design these, how do they how do they do it? Well, just like I have a publishing company, there's different fabric design companies. So mm -hmm. they will um you can there's a bunch of these uh so they will like I think they do a lot of it on computer, like on computer programs and they have a lot of artists who do it and um different different people. I'm trying to think of an artist who has done I don't know if you remember like Ed Emberly, who did all those like funny remember when we were kids and they have like um <laughs> like those funny drawings where they would teach you how to draw like an alligator with like a crazy face and oh, stuff yeah, like yeah. step by step. Mm -hmm. That a lot of that was Ed Emberly and he has a bunch of fabric lines or if you can buy and then like I've done it before on my little crayon holders and yeah. stuff. Oh that's cute. So all we're gonna do here, this is called an envelope style okay. um pillow. And so we're gonna put those together and you can see that this is the envelope right here. Envelope okay. envelope. And then we just take this piece and we go right sides together. Okay. Because this is gonna be turned inside out. Okay. And we get our pins right there. Why don't you grab one of the thousand pin cushions? Ooh, I like this one cushion. Yes. This is that's because that's that like old that's yeah. from the um flea teak. Oh, is it really? Yeah, this is like a little somebody made that little quilt piece. And wow. then yeah, and then we'll just pin these all together. Okay, just stick Make them sure. in there. Yep. On um, both through the both. ball should be going towards the center. Okay. Because you don't wanna all right, now let's go over to the machine. Okay. You sit right there. Okay, so the first thing we do is we just, we're going to sew along the edge here. Okay. So you just put your foot down. Okay. Do okay. It, do you want me to do it now? No, you know, not yet. This is called the sewing foot. Oh, okay. So this I is the foot. I'm putting that foot. I know. I realize <laughs> that. That is called the pedal. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put the needle in. Okay. And I have this thing right here, which makes it go nice and slow for you. Okay, good. And you're just going to sew along the edge here. Okay, so I'll keep help. nice and tight? Yeah, okay. I'll help you, don't worry. Go ahead and press the pedal. You can push it all the way down as fast as you can, it still won't go very fast. We can make it go, let's see if we can make it go like that. Or we can make it go nice and, whoops. Oops, stop. Yeah. Okay. I just, that folded, I didn't, I was being a show off. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Now it goes right over top of these little pins. Yeah, it'll go right over. Some wow. people take them out, but I usually just leave them in. Does it ever hit the pins? Rarely. And then you just, then the pin just kind of bends. It's fine, keep going. I found a boss in the project here. But no, I'm glad you are because I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes these corner pins, I'll take them out, but I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, stop. Okay. And Whoop. turn that turn that thing so that the needle goes down in. Yes, perfect. Okay. So now I'm gonna lift up my foot and turn to make the corner. No, oh, that's All right. really cool. Now keep going. All right, do I don't need to do anything there, right? Mm -mm. I will tell you that the pillow, I use that for my sewing classes, it gets real flat. <laughs> it's like from Walmart. So your pillow, if you want to go get a better pillow form, if you happen to like really like this in the end, oh look, I'm taking over. Okay, no, and one more, couple more, and then we'll stop again. Okay, stop. And then and, put it back down? Yep. Oh, such a good student. And take your finger and lift that pedal up. It's up a little higher. Up a little higher. You can oh, feel it right oh, there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And then Oop. we just turn. Turn okay. Left. Put the foot down. Yep. Halfway done. Halfway. Now, have you ever s caught your finger? I recently finally did it. Everybody Oops. talks about that, and I was like, I don't know how they possibly could do that, but I recently did. <laughs> <laughs> and just like clip my fingernail pretty low. I could see how that could happen to me. It was when I was sewing one of those llamas, and I had bought this particularly thick fur. And I was kind of like pushing it through my machine. And, um, okay, and a couple more. There. You do that thing where you put the needle down and then turn. Lift up the foot? Yep. And then we just turn it 45 wow. degrees. Oh my goodness. Okay, almost there. See, you're gonna take up sewing, aren't you? Yeah, this is awesome. Well, I really started sewing because I bought my first house. And I really, I wanted to make curtains and pillows. I wanted to decorate. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you just keep on going. I was kind of straightening it. So I made curtains, which is so boring. Making curtains is yeah. super boring. It's just like really long straight lines. 
All right, and almost done. Let's put it down and turn. And then we're just going to sew like a little bit over those stitches okay. and that will secure the stitches so they don't come undone. Okay, go ahead. Okay, perfect. You're a natural. Yay. And then I have a little cutter over here. Okay, now we'll just I have to put that iron on because we're going to iron it. We need to cut off, take out the pins. Okay. And cut the corners so we have nice sharp corners. Okay. Do you want me to start taking pins out? Yep. And then we just put it on the pillow and we're done. Voila. Fastest sewing project ever. That is awesome. Like technically, like, you know, people would want you to sew that down, but we don't pay attention to that. <laughs> You're going to listen to their rules. That's right. Do what we want. Oh, man, I could use this. In, if I could figure this out and do this at home, yeah, I could really change, because um, I do a lot of staging for Yeah, it would be perfect for that. Yeah, I mean, and throw pillows make such a huge difference. They do. They do, do I turn it inside out first? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our little corners so okay. we get nice sharp corners. You can do it with that if you want. Now, make sure, though, that you don't cut um, that. You just want to cut like like an eighth of an inch below that. That's good. That's good. Okay. You're going to get out your daughter's sewing machine. I know. It's still in the box. And get some, like, you know, Ikea has really cool fabrics. Um, like, good. And then Joanne's does have, like, you go to the decor. Yeah. And you can find some cute stuff that could, you know, really liven up a couch or whatever. Yeah. I, I really like this color here. All right. Okay. Now all we're going to do is just... See those, grab one of those chopsticks. Chopsticks. Yeah. Because I saw you poke in the corners in yeah, the other one. Yeah. Exactly. So we're going to poke corners. There's, there's more uses to these than just Chinese. Ones. That's right. I'll go in there and be like, can I have a bunch of chopsticks? Okay. So you just get in there and poke those corners out. Give them a little pressure. Is that good? Mm-hmm. No, oh, I see this one's not popped out. Yeah. There's a kid up there. Stomping. That'll happen. All right. Okay. Now, do your kids um, like to sew with you at all? They can't. My my girl. My yeah. They can sew a little. Um, I think that like sometimes they prefer that I'm not around when they do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now just let's press it flat. Okay. When I gave the when I had the little sewing class, my um daughter going into eighth grade, she took the class. Aw. So I had her fill a spot and um Have you done anything really for fun. their school? Like um I helped with the um, musical, the middle school musical. I helped make costumes. So some, I'll do that because my one, uh, my uh, 13 year old's into theater. <laughs> so, um, oh, this got a little funny on the back, but that won't matter. All right, now you have to finagle that in there. I know it looks a little small, but it's going to look good because it'll be tight. Oh, and let's close this up so the yes, old lady do not get mad at you. <laughs> nope. No injuries, work related <laughs> injuries. Yeah, now you gotta really work it in there. We okay. Gotta work it into the corners. Gotta fluff it up. Yeah. <laughs> let's work it up, pillow. Make sure the corners are going. Oh, that is so cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Yeah, you have a cute little cute little pillow. It matches Look. my my bedroom stuff. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> It'd be fun too, you could put like tassels on the end. Yeah, or That'd wrap it with like a ribbon. Yeah. yeah. Be pretty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good job. Well done. Thanks.